Okay, I don't even know if I can actually get to the diamond here. Getting to diamond division gives you one additional record, which I need. I need all of the records because this light revolves around Shimmer Legends. So I need like 138 more points. And we're three matches in and I have a 33% win rate. What the heck? I'm trying out Tever with uh, the relief set in PvP. In PvP, Tever with the relief set doesn't really work. I think it's better off to just go Astral, but I'm just gonna try it. It's the last fight anyways. Um, I'm using Alexa because I saw like one of the guys in the top 64 uses Alexa. This guy has like very low resonance and he still somehow manages to get like a top 64 pretty consistently. Um, yeah, this guy. His height is very low resonance. Mavis is R0, TA is R0, his Changji is not R6. Abigail is R0, like a lot of his units are very low resonance and like not full R6 except for like maybe some right? So I tried his uh, comp as well with the Cecilia and uh, Everett, it wasn't looking too good. I got like 28% <laughs> win rate with that and then uh, yeah I, I, I did a few changes to my team. My, hide, uh, my Mavis comp got a pretty good win rate with uh, Brewster instead. Uh, previously I used uh, Sun Wukong. And I think the win rate was like around 40% or something. Um, the reason why I'm using like Brewster right now is because in gold tier, you actually like start countering. So Brewster, when one of your allies counter, he will actually follow up with the pursuit if he has the stack. So yeah, that, he actually kind of goes crazy. If you have an R6 Brewster, he's also going to go crazy. My team 3 is the one that uh, brings me down a little. I have like 36% win rate and I'm running a very slow Gaius because... Um, when you pair up, when you get paired up with like a Mavis comp, you actually want to s snipe all of them, especially the Emma. If you don't one shot the Emma, the Emma is just going to keep countering all of your units. So that's what I went for with uh, one really strong DPS. So I make sure that Emma dies in the first move that my guys takes, and then you want the Mavis to die as quickly as possible as well. And then the last team I tried with the. Hilda comp and Tricky. I'm using Astaneth because Astaneth, um, the Lotus Mark is actually really good. This 50% damage taken, especially in gold tier, um, does not deplete when you take counter attack. So when you take counter attack, this thing stays. So yeah, that's a really big damage reduction. And she's also a healer and an AP pusher. But obviously, Anna is the main carry in this team. Without Anna, I tried like with Brewster and like Cecilia as the uh, leader spot. I got like a 28% win rate. You can probably just put like Anna in the team and no other units and you're gonna get like 50% win rate or something like that. Because um, she's just that ridiculous, right? Look at this, I got 0% win rate. <laughs> and uh, top 64 I don't think is going to be doable, doable for me right now. Because I'm actually quite far, yeah. I'm at like 28 points away from the top 64 in the first week i managed to get like a uh, rank 68 or something it was super unlucky but yeah the second round i don't think i'm gonna get top 64 all right i got some very good matchups all of a sudden i'm ranked 53 and uh yeah the tavern team looks pretty good so far yeah i usually get like farmed by m and also like a uh, gabro and also this guy, if I scroll down a little bit, uh, there's definitely gonna be Gabriel. I don't think I've won a single match against Gabriel. I got a really good matchup, like this one against Speed Cleave teams is almost a guaranteed win. Again, another Speed Cleave team. And then this one, the best matchup for this one is also against a Speed Cleave team, like this one, without an R2 Ethan. So yeah, I got really lucky, as you can see, another one. Yeah, I need 35 points more to get the into diamond division very nice and hopefully i can stay in top 64 but uh the top 64 position fluctuate very oh we got 51 now so i won a few matches as well um the top 64 uh placement fluctuates very heavily like uh you can see some people in and out of uh, top 64 sometimes even go up to i think my highest was like 40 and then the next round i dropped out to like uh, 0.2 percent which is kind of crazy but uh, yeah, this uh, spot fluctuates very heavily uh, depending on your... Uh, especially when you constantly change your team like me. Like I don't think I've run the same team, um, the same like four teams every 
uh, round. So I've changed my teams up, uh, or at least my gears up a little bit for every round that, uh, for every new round, just to try uh, something different. But most importantly, is your matchups, right? If you're like, see, if you if you don't have a Tolan and you're using a speed cleave like me, and you go up against a Tolan, you're pretty much a like, guaranteed lose because Tolan can easily outspeed you and speed cleave if they don't go first then you're basically lost right and if you uh, get matched up against like other uh, super tanky team with like R6 Sally with your really good team like uh, the Mavis Hyde combo then uh, that's gonna be very detrimental for you as well and also Ana is basically carrying me <laughs> I'm not gonna lie Ana is, a, is just so stupid of a unit and still no news about her nerfs or whatever that I don't think they're gonna plan to nerf her or do anything about her, they're probably just gonna sell the solution and that's uh, that's gonna be it. Oh, let's go! We got Diamond. That's a free legendary, uh, not legendary, uh, free Shimmer record. So, yeah. In the next patch, is going to be also, we got rank 47, which is very nice. In the next patch, it's going to be easier to climb to uh, Diamond, but it's not. Most of you probably still won't get into Diamond. Maybe you're still going to be in gold. But it's going to be easier to climb because one part, let me just real quick. Yeah, this one. So reduce the number of medals deducted for failed knockout champions. The, in the next patch, it's going to be easier to climb to diamond. This is the last round and only then I managed to climb to diamond. So I didn't even get to play one match in the diamond tier because this is the last round. There's still 24 matches. Hopefully we can stay top 64 or maybe even climb even higher. Unlucky. I didn't get it, uh, the top 64, but yeah, not bad, 0.1%. I got a terrible matchup in the, you know, second half. In the first 25 matches, I got really lucky, but then, and then it went downhill. So yeah, the win rate is not looking too good. Like I said, it's pretty much the same um, in the first, in the previous round and the current round, except for, you know, this team getting a slightly higher win rate. And, uh, you know, Tevor didn't really add much to the win rate. It actually tanked a bit lost one match but yeah in conclusion you just put Anna in one team and then that team all of a sudden becomes your highest win rate team but yeah that's about it ciao